for being late. <laughs> See, my problem is, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Sometimes. Now, although I like to think that this is my greatest superpower of all time, if you haven't noticed, this is a cabaret about superpowers, special skills, if you get it, empowerment, empowerment, yes, yes. <laughs> so, although I like to think this is my greatest superpower of all time, Life has taught me otherwise. Simply not giving a fuck just adds to all the problems you never really gave a fuck about. And before you know it, you've got a huge pile of problems on your back trying to fuck you from behind. No, thank you, I'm a virgin. <laughs> Here's the thing. Growing up was a completely different story. I used my superpower ability to its fullest. <laughs> Some of you might know that I'm from L.A. and none of that Hollywood bullshit. I'm talking about East L.A., like the hood, you know, Mexicans, everywhere. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> Stool? Nope. Right <laughs> Thank you, Owen Robbins. <laughs> Usually not the <laughs> Now, <laughs> I grew up with a lot of adversity in my life that I never really gave a fuck about. And I didn't have a lot of places to turn to. So, as you can imagine, I just didn't really bother with any of the macho shitheads or like being Catholic or any of these like crazy things that were trying to mold me. And instead, I watched a lot of sex in the city. <laughs> On nights like this. When the world's a bit a mess And the lights go down Across the ratchet hood <laughs> I get down I feel high And feel on the verge of going mad And it's time to punch the clock I think of my heroes like Carrie Bradshaw, big city girl doing what she wants. <laughs> Suddenly I'm determined to be just like her, living in New York and having lots of sex. <laughs> Nine. 
Ain't much of a difference. 